Hi Taurus, here to do the empowerment readings for the Mercury retrograde energies. Um, and we've got the new moon tomorrow, well tonight, wherever you are, tomorrow. Uh, full moon on the 9th of March, sorry my camera's moving on its own. Um, I think that's all I need to say, because I'm behind on these videos. Um, oh yeah, my website's up and live and running now. Description will be in the box below if you want personal readings, uh, half hour, one hour, or the question and answers readings. Um, and I'm just going to bang straight into it. How is Taurus being affected with these Mercury energies? What's it bringing up? So, Taurus. Situation, soul family, soul sisters. So the situation is we've got soul family coming in and around us realizing who your soul family are your challenge is to stay grounded we've got mother nature um could be a family issue there could be issues between um actual blood relatives uh, and things like that that could be triggering it but you've got your soul family to stay around so people who are like your soul sisters your soul brothers um you know you could have a soul mom soul dad you know uh, but we've got mother nature, so the challenge could be you could be missing a parent or feeling like you need to parent yourself at the minute. Staying grounded, um, using your own, your challenges to keep your own energy like grounded. Um, they want you to be the goddess, the god that you are. Why is this coming around now for Taurus? The solar plexus, so gut instinct. Um, I feel like some of my Tauruses could be can feel an anxiety like that anxiety type feeling in your stomach and you don't know where it's coming from i feel it's because you've pulled you're pulling in your soul your soul family and um, i feel like you're feeling a lot of things in your solar plexus and um, you've got instinct so it could be good and it, it could be but it can feel a, a bit sticky sometimes maybe you've got blocks around your solar plexus um recent past cutting cords so definitely cutting, you've definitely cut cords to people. It could be family members. Um, in order for you to ascend, though, you've had to let these people go. You've had to let these attachments go. I'm going to say attachments rather than people because we form attachments to a lot of things. It can be material as well. Um, but your challenge is to blossom, it's to grow. You, you're definitely pulling in soul family. Um, at present, yeah, you, you are. So you've cut the cords, we've got attachments so we've cut them cords we're still carrying the energy of some of the cords that we've cut uh, because at the present it's to free yourself so you, you have broken the chains now we need to get rid of the energy that's been left there um so near future for my tauruses so we've got the drained energy i feel like these people could try and make a comeback so if you've got some, if you've got rid of someone or argued with someone like a family member or whatever, or an ex partner or anything, I feel like they could come back. I feel like it's more Mercury retrograde testing you. Are you going to free yourself or are you going to put yourself back into this draining cycle? Let's have a look. Your power in this situation. The connection. Your power connecting with your higher self as well, but it's with your connections. If you're, if people like your soul family and your true family are giving you their opinions, which soul family don't like to give opinions, but I think they would in this situation with, with something like this. I would definitely be listening to the connections that you trust because they love you. They want you to ascend. They want you, you know, but it's connection to yourself as well. Meditate on this to get the answers. I do feel like a draining energy is coming back. What's the outside influence? Yeah, karma. So it's like the outside influence is karma. So there's a karmic connection coming back to try again. And I, I feel like it's your power to cut it off. Because uh, you want to start a new karmic cycle. This is a past karmic cycle that's dragged you down. You've paid your karmic dues off. You don't have to go back. Hopes or fears is that you listen. Uh, Crown chakra, allow them downloads to come. So, yeah, meditation, clearing the thoughts, um, connecting with yourself. Outcome on this. 
Oh, you got the congratulations card. So I don't feel like you're going to venture back. I feel like someone's going to, I feel like the universe is going to test you. Have you learned your lesson? Are you going to allow these people, these energy drainers, the, all these cords, these attachments, or even if it's things that you've done in the past, drink, drugs, anything, anything that you've been attached to or felt like you needed, I feel like it's coming back to see if you've learned your lesson. Because your outcome is a congratulations card. You've learnt a lesson. You've been given your energy wings. It's now time to use the gifts and strengths, uh, gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to others, uh, and yourself, your experiences, all your qualifications. So you're learning one massive lesson here, one massive lesson about how to cut out attachments. But I do feel like the universe is going to test you again, throw them back in, and just see if you have a wobble. So, I do like how you have the soul family, the mother nature card. We've got a king of wands, could be dealing with a fire sign, need to keep yourself grounded. From fire sign, we've got, if you look at the fire sign, sometimes it can look a bit narcissistic. Uh, so, you could be have cut cords with someone who's quite narcissistic. Uh, the challenge is now you're still in your head over it though. So, it doesn't matter whether it's fire sign or not, but I am feeling like narcissistic. It could be a narcissistic parent, narcissistic friends, whatever, but you're still overthinking it it causes anxiety and things like that the challenge is to emotionally move on from this situation so stay grounded and move on away from this connection these t attachments so that could be why you're feeling that sicky feeling because when you are attached to something you have to let it go you almost like grieve it so the solar plexus the nine of pentacles so yeah you could have become single uh, so you could still be like grieving, grieving the end of the relationship, even though you know it was the best thing to do. The Nine of Pentacles, you're going out there on your own, independence. It's taken a lot from you. So we've got the Six of Cups. So it is, we've got soulmate energy and then we've got karma. So it could have been a karmic soulmate that has been brought in to learn you a lesson of self-love. And... Yeah, they could have been narcissistic and that, but maybe you needed that in order to put your boundaries up and say, sack this, I deserve better than this. That's your karmic lesson. I do feel this person is going to come back again, just universally, to see if, push your button and see if you've learned your lesson. So the cutting the cords, yeah, it got too stressful, you had to go. It That, that is just, it's just pure messing with the head, hurt, feeling stabbed in the back. Temperance, so we've got Sagittarius energy, but in order to store balance, you had to get away from this. Eight of Swords, this person had you totally blindfolded, like totally stuck in your head. I'm feeling a pure anxiety. My stomach is turning, uh, feeling stuck, isolated, like you couldn't do anything, but you're getting out of that energy. So the freedom card at the present, but you're struggling now, you've got freedom. Five Pentacles, so you could have blocked this person now. Or they've blocked you, vice versa, take it as it is. We've got the moon energy, so tomorrow, new moon, uh, they could be trying to come back around one of the moon cycles, but the moon sheds light on the darkest of situations. And if this person, you're going to read right through it, uh, but it could be giving you a timing as well. So it could be within the next few days of the new, uh, new moon, or it could be towards the end of Mercury retrograde uh, with the full moon being around the 9th. Uh, on top of that, the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, you, you the need to cut out anything that no longer serves you. So, the Queen of Swords, she could have had a shit laugh. Uh, you know, she's been through it. She's been through the hurt. Her boundaries are up. And she's basically, like, step forward. And as soon as I feel like I can't trust your energy, I cut the cord. This is all cord cutting. Someone no longer serves your energy. And even though you do feel a lot for them... um. You know, we've got the Magician, the Sun and the Empress. So we've got Magician, we've got Aries. Um, I think it, you're cutting out manipulative energy because you want to be happy. And the Empress, I think you're manifesting your own happiness. This person could also be like messing with your head uh, with the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. I, I, they could be messing with your head like they could have just moved on really quick or... The pretending they have, you know, to mess with your head. And that could be the test on. Are you going to let their energy drain you again? So the drained card, the drained energy, near future. So we've got 
Chariot, positive movement forward. We've got the death card, death and rebirth. And a true soulmate. We've got a soulmate. So I think you're being tested by a karmic soulmate. A soulmate, a soulmate that had to learn you a lesson uh, that you, you probably felt like you weren't worthy. I feel like you're in healing at the minute. You are going to pause. I, I think you're going to get through this tester because we've got Scorpio as well. So you could be pulling in a Scorpio. But I'm seeing this as future. The Two of Cups. Someone who wants to make you a proper offer. Not like this person who's messing with your head. Yeah, because now we've got the high priest. So this is a this is your card as well. But this is a divinely guarded union. You're being pulled towards someone that's true. Really nice energy. Yeah, four of cups. Uh, maybe April. So you could have to wait till then. The high priestess eleven reveals the secrets. The star a wish will be granted. You will be loved the way you're supposed to love. You will. You just need to cut the cords to the past. This bit. I feel like you still feel the attachment to this person from the past. So you could still feel that you're in love with this person. Um, I think one this other person is going to blow your mind. Maybe that's when the past one returns. Because I see a wish being granted in love. And I feel like the universe is going to throw this. To see if you've learnt this karmic lesson. See if you learn this karmic lesson. Because I see a new, new soulmate. Three of Pentacles. I think there's going to be a choice between two. You're going to have to make a choice. I really hope that you make the the right choice because I, I don't like the energy from the past. Your power being the connection. Six of Wands. Going on towards victory. So your power is to be victorious. Go and get that commitment that you deserve as well. But be committed to yourself. The outside influences being the karma. So you've had the karma twice now. Six of Swords, move on from stormy waters to smooth waters. Take them lessons that you've learned there and you don't have to carry them. You don't have to have trust issues or anything like that. If you've got that, work on it now because I see someone coming in and it's a stable offer to move forward. Oh, we've got a flyer. Queen of Wands, uh, definitely could be fire. So... Mm. Could be another fire sign. You could be stuck between two fire signs. Four of swords. Yeah, you're going to have to clear your thoughts and think about this one. Keep going fours. Maybe going to Wales April. The crown chakra. Yeah, keeping your boundaries up. Keeping yourself safe. But again, like you can drop the trust issues. You, you're strong enough. We've got the queen of pentacles. So being stable, the king, there is going to be communication. You are going to gain clarity on this situation. The king of swords and the ace of swords. Um, there is going to be clarity given on this situation. I think that you're going to find out something about the person from the past. Or maybe they're even going to step forward and tell you the truth on a situation. But if they've lied, it's almost as if like you're not going to trust them anyway. Because of what they, if they have lied... Say they've told you they've got someone new and they haven't, you'll never be able to prove that. So I'm feeling like trust issues, you would carry trust issues forward. I'm itching my nose like mad now, so I'm getting a liar. Um, congratulations card as your outcome. Ten of Wands, you're dropping that burden and moving on. I do feel like you're going to be stuck in your head a little bit, yeah, because we've got the juggling card. Stuck in your head, which one is it? Is it the past or is it the new? And then we've got the hanged man because you're going to get that light bulb moment. I'm seeing new. I'm seeing new. I feel like you're healing from past attachments, ridding yourself of past attachments because you've got someone really good in the future. So that looks really good. I like it. Okay, I hope that helps someone. If you like the video, like. Bye.